Twins hosting the Royals, and Twins are minus 260 on the money line. The Royals are plus 210. The over-under is 7.5 runs. The Royals getting a run and a half on the run line are plus 100, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The Twins laying a run and a half on the run line are minus 120, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two. And this was one of the teams that I picked yesterday just because of how much they've been dominating the Royals yesterday, and they helped me hit one of my parlays. Now, Lyles pitched once against the Twins last year. It, uh, no, this year. Forgive me. I didn't think about that. Five and a third, two runs, one earned, and they lost that game two to nothing, and that was on April 1st. And Lopez pitched once on opening day against the Royals. Five and a third, no runs, no earned, and the uh, the Twins won that game 2-0 in Kansas City. Head-to-head, -head, the home team is 7-3. and three. The Twins are on a four-game winning streak. The Twins are 7-3 and three against the Royals in their last 10. The favorite has won the last four games. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line. The favorite winning these games by two runs or more, laying a run and a half, is 6-4. and four. There have been two one-run games in their last 10 meetings, and it was a couple of the games that they played earlier this year. Uh, forgive me, a couple of the games they played last year. The under is 6-2-2, two, and two, and the under 7.5, and, and I've seen some casinos have it at 8 as well for the over-under, is 6-4. and four. The last game they played, which was yesterday, the Twins won 7-1. to one. The game before that, the Twins won 7-4. The two previous games to that, which was opening day and the second day, the Twins won 2 to nothing. So the last two games that they played against each other exploded offensively but the first couple of games of the year that they played against each other not so much the royals are two and eight in their last ten they're one and three in their last four we've had a total of nine runs nine runs two runs and eight runs in those games they scored four runs and a loss five runs and a win no runs and a loss all of those games were to the diamondbacks and then one run and a loss which was yesterday to the royals now for the twins they are three uh four and one in their last five games and they are 5-5 five and five in their last 10. We've had 7 runs, 8 runs, 18 runs, and 8 runs. Back-to-back 6-run -back games where they won and beat the Yankees. Then another 6-run game where they lost to the Yankees. And then a 7-run game, which was yesterday, where they beat the Royals. I'm going to take the Twins with the money line. I'm going to take the Twins laying the runs. And I'm going to go over... The Orioles are a better team than the Royals are, and when Lyles pitched and had success against the Twins, he was on the Orioles last year. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet respond.